everyone, welcome to this another short session of Concept Bites on Kepler's Law of Planetary Motion. Yes, Concept Bites, small bite-sized content to keep your intellectual digestion healthy. You know, that's the motive. If you are here and you know what we do, like this session right now and subscribe to the channel. Ab suno, Kepler's Law of Planetary Motion, it's a very important topic and very much in demand. Bhoat poochha gaya. Sir, kab hoga, kab hoga. Today is the day. Alright? Now, let's talk about Kepler. I mean, if you want to talk about Kepler's laws, we should talk about Kepler, no? Because if you want to talk about Newton's laws, we talk about Newton first, right? Johannes Kepler, a German scientist, very famous scientist. The last scientist, or you can say the last astronomer who studied the night sky without telescopes. Before the telescopic era, he was looking at the sky with his naked eyes. Amazing, no? And he made some brilliant discoveries. Now, he used the data of his mentor Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe was another very important astronomer who studied the night sky and gathered some very important data. Now, Johannes Kepler, what he did was he analyzed this data and gave proper, proper laws. But what was he analyzing? Kya kar rahe the? See, there were two types of models very famous, right? One was called as geocentric model, where we used to believe that Earth is the center. We used to say that Earth is in the center and everything else is revolving around the Earth, even the Sun. That was the geocentric model. One was heliocentric model. That says Sun is in the center and everything else used to move around the Sun in circles, perfect circles. Important thing is, in both of these models, it was said to be perfect circular path. And when Johannes Kepler was studying Mars, he thought, if Mars moves in a perfect circle, according to his calculation, Mars should have some particular position at a particular day. But it was not coming. And that's why he was saying, Kuch to hai. there's some problem. And that's where he realized that there is one more type of shape other than a circle. Yes, and that's where the breakthrough began. So then came the first law, the law of orbits. He said, very simply, ki bhai, dekho, the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one of the two foci. Ellipse, yes. It is not a circle. You can see it's a flattened circle and it has two foci. I so said, what do you mean? What is an ellipse? First of all, let's think about it. If you take two points and it's an activity for you, take two pins and connect them using a thread, a loose thread basically, not a tight thread. Huh? Now, you take a pencil and you move like it. You take a pencil and you move like this. If you think, just think, the length of the thread is constant. Means, you can say, if this length is x and this length is y, wherever you move the pencil, x plus y will be constant y, because the length of this whole thread will be constant, right? And that's what the ellipse is. It is, it is the locus of a point which is equidistant from the, these two points. So we say, ellipse is that kind of a shape from these two points, you know, hamesha, 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 every time the sum of the distance will be equal. It will be equal. So you can say x plus y is a constant. And these two points are called as focus, two foci. Focus one, focus two, right? Correct? And this line joining this ellipse and the two points, the focus, we call it the major axis. Isko hum bolte hai minor axis, right? So this becomes the major axis and this becomes the minor axis. Okay, fine. So this is what he said. The orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one of the two foci. Possible. Sun kisi ke liye idhar ho sakta hai. For some planets, sun could be on the other foci. But the path of a planet would be an ellipse where sun will be at either of the one focus. Right? This is the first law. Okay? Ellipse kya hota hai? Par sum of the length. Right? The sum of the length from two focus will be always constant. Okay? Fine? Chalo. The second law is another very, very interesting law. The law of equal areas. It says a line segment joining the planet and the sun. Aap kya karo? Sun low and planet is going in an elliptical path. Ek line join kar do from the planet to the sun. 
एंड दिस लाइन इट विल स्वीप सम एरिया मतलब द लाइन सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग द प्लानिट एंड द सन स्वीप आउट इक्वल एरिया इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम तो आप बोल सकते हो लेट से लेट से जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज इफ आई से लेट्स टेक वन वन आर ठीक है दिस लाइन इज स्वीपिंग वन वन आर में इतना इतना एरिया व्हाइट ग्रे व्हाइट ग्रे व्हाइट ग्रे इट विल बी इक्वल इफ यू टेक इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम दैट लाइन कनेक्टिंग द प्लैनेट एंड द सन विल कवर इक्वल एरियाज ठीक है दिस इज द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ इक्वल एरियाज करेक्ट फेयरली सिंपल लॉ and this is also very important okay fine yes sir yes sir sir so how to apply this i'll ask you a question do not worry about that okay the law of periods now this is something which usually we tend to forget but i'll try that we don't dekho bhai this law says the square of a planet's orbital time period matlab how much time does a planet take to cover this one elliptical path that is the time period bhai time period kya hota hai at least one time कोई कोई काम करने में कितना टाइम लगता है राइट इफ यू डू समथिंग फॉर द सिंगल टाइम हाउ मच टाइम डज इट टेक सो व्हेन अ प्लैनेट कवर्स वन पाथ वन कंप्लीट इलेक्ट्रिकल पाथ अराउंड द सन हाउ मच टाइम डज इट टेक वी कॉल इट द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द प्लैनेट ऑर्बिट है ना इट इज द ऑर्बिटल टाइम ठीक फाइन दिस टाइम इज प्रपोर्शनल टू द क्यूब ऑफ द लेंथ ठीक है ऑफ द सेमी मेजर एक्सिस ऑफ इट्स ऑर्बिट मतलब देखो भाई दिस मीन्स this is let's say your ellipse my drawing is really bad so i hope you will understand right so this i told you this line is your major axis what is semi major axis semi major axis is half right this is the radius of you can say semi major axis the length of semi major axis what is this law saying this square of time period क्या चीज स्क्वेयर ऑफ टाइम पीरियड टी स्क्वेयर इज प्रपोर्शनल टू क्यूब ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ सेमी मेजर एक्सिस दिस इज योर कंप्लीट मेजर एक्सिस हाफ ऑफ दिस मेजर एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड एज द सेमी मेजर एक्सिस इसका लेंथ है लेट से आर सो टाइम टेकन बाय द प्लैनेट टू कवर वन कंप्लीट इलेक्ट्रिकल पाथ इज टी स्क्वेयर ऑफ दैट टाइम इज प्रपोर्शनल टू क्यूब ऑफ दिस दिस इज द थर्ड लॉ Okay. so i hope you understood the meaning of semi major axis because lot of times i have seen students they keep cramming this thing or kuch samajh nahi aata kuch yaad bhi nahi rehta theek hai fine so the square of planet's orbital time period is proportional to the cube of the length of semi major axis of the orbit sir kaise aaya it's a law and how do you get a law you observe aap dekhte ho bar bar dekhte ho and then you realize yaar i think this is following that you give a hypothesis you keep observing again and again again and again you use the same hypothesis in different different things different different planets if it holds true aap bolte ho ye law hai tomorrow if you are able to find something which doesn't follow this you will say law is broken that's how laws work they are they are derived by watching by experimenting fine theek hai rice t square is proportional to r cube ab chalo let's do some questions we have done the three laws let's do a few questions the speed of the earth is maximum at what a b c d स्पीड कहां ज्यादा होगा थिंक अबाउट इट सी यू वॉन्ट टू गो विद द सेकेंड लॉ सेकेंड लॉ क्या बोल रहा है कि द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द प्लैनेट एंड द सन विल स्वीप इक्वल एरियाज एंड इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम इसका मतलब सर अगर उसको सेम टाइम में इक्वल एरिया स्वीप करना है वेन इट इज फार इट शुड ट्रेवल स्लो वेन इट इज नियर इट शुड ट्रेवल फास्ट यस this far point is what we call as apogee and this near point is called as perigee i have covered this in my chandrayaan video i hope you have seen that theek okay? hai so when a planet is farther from the sun uski speed kam hoti hai right the speed of the planet is slow but when that planet is near the the sun right or you can say the perigee point its speed is maximum so the speed of earth is maximum at point c sir kyu aaya from the second law if a body has to cover equal area and equal intervals of time when it is far it will have to cover thoda sa length hai na and when it is near it should cover more length iska matlab pass tha to itna travel karna pada 
इक्वल टाइम में दूर था तो इतना ट्रैवल करना पड़ा सो यू कैन से द स्पीड इज लेस वेन इट इज फार एंड मोर वेन इट इज नियर सो मैक्सिम एट द पेरिजी पॉइंट फाइन एंड दैट्स वाई पॉइंट सी बिकम्स द राइट आंसर द प्लानट स्वीप्स इक्वल एरियाज इन इक्वल टाइम सो वेन इट इज क्लोजर टू द सन इट मूव फास्टर ट्रू सही चलो If the orbital radius of Jupiter, come on guys, answer. What are you waiting for? If the orbital radius of Jupiter is five times the orbital radius of the Earth, what will be the approximate time taken by Jupiter to revolve around the Sun? Come on, fairly, fairly simple. Third law, straightforward. Apply it. Come on. By if the orbital radius of Jupiter is five times. So radius of Jupiter is five times the radius of Earth. Orbital radius, huh? so means semi-major axis ki baat ho rahi hai. What will be the approximate time taken by Jupiter revolve around the Sun? Hmm, hai? Let's say the time period of Earth is, uh, and you can see all the options, they are talking about Earth years. Earth covers one revolution in what? One year. Hai? Jupiter ka, this is the time taken by Earth. Time taken by Jupiter is I don't know, right? Time taken by Jupiter is I don't know. One year, I can say one e. इसको one e लिखते हैं चलो. One Earth year क्या क्या है ना? One Earth year. Fun. Now, now when you use the third law. Third law क्या बोलता है? Sir, third law will say that time period is proportional to r cube. So you can say, sir, time taken by Jupiter upon time taken by on Earth. का स्क्वेयर विल बी इक्वल टू रेडियस ऑफ जुपिटर का क्यूब अपॉन रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ का क्यूब है ना सिंपल ठीक है सो लेट मी जस्ट मूव ओवर हियर सो आई कैन से टाइम टेकन बाय जुपिटर का स्क्वेयर आई डोंट नो राइट अपॉन टाइम टेकन बाय अर्थ लेट्स से इज वन ईयर फॉर नाउ आई वुड से राइट है ना इज इक्वल टू आर जे इज फाइव आर ई सो फाइव आर ई का क्यूब अपॉन आर ई क्यूब सो दिस बिकम्स हाउ मच आई कैन रिप्लेस इट एंड से इट इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव आर ई क्यूब सो आर ई क्यूब आर ई क्यूब कैंसल सो टी जे स्क्वेयर इज हाउ मच सर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू वन सो टी जे इज हाउ मच वन ट्वेंटी फाइव कुड बी द अंडर रूट ऑफ सी इलेवन स्क्वेयर इज वन ट्वेंटी वन ना ट्वेल्व स्क्वेयर इज वन फोर्टी फोर इलेवन पॉइंट समथिंग So I can say T J will be approximately equal to eleven Earth years, है ना? Eleven Earth years. And yes, you're right. Option C is the right answer. Almost eleven Earth years. How? Simply you used directly the third law of Kepler. Simple, है ना? Yes. So let's summarize everything we have learned today. Kepler's laws. Three laws are there. The law of orbit, which says planets revolve in not circular path; they revolve in elliptical orbits, where sun is at either one of the focus. Okay. Law of equal areas. It says that line that the line joining the planet and the sun it sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time. Third one, the law of period. It says that that the orbital time period of the planet is square of that time is proportional to the cube of the length of semi-major axis. right that is the law of period right and with this we are done with three laws i want to give you a homework just to check if you got it everything come on there's a homework question for you i want to see the answers in the comment section and we did this kepler's law video because it was very 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 much in demand especially for icsc students cbse people it was there in it is there in olympiads it is there in anthe it is there in competitive examinations but not in the cbse syllabus okay so relax it's okay but it's a very important very nice concept okay so with this i hope you understood everything any doubt any problem let me know in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn properly if you want to learn some quality education time pass yahan nahi hota hai yahan jo bhi hoga it will contribute in your learning so subscribe right now if you really wish to learn the byju's way and like this video because that gives the motivation to the team it happened because you asked for it aur ye ho gaya why because they love you you also just show them how much you love them press the like button see you next time take care bye bye